Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today I have a Don Mooser OM for you, which I had actually never come across these, but wow, what a very unique instrument this is. It's got a really, really unreal tight grain sick at top. I actually thought it was Engelman, but I was corrected. Uh, and yet again, this really cool light grained Brazilian that I've not seen too many of these, and this is the second one now that I've seen while I'm here, and it's just, it is so gorgeous. Um, also, Brazilian head cap um, and a flamed mahogany neck. So anytime it moves through the light, it actually sparkles, and all the way up through the headstock, you can see the figuring. Now, another really unique thing about this is it's got koa binding on the back and sides. Um, but all of the edges are rolled over all the way around the instrument. So there's not really an uncomfortable hard edge to, to be on. So if you're a person that ever plays in shorts and you set the guitar there too long and you get try to get up and you see that hard line, you're not gonna get that from this guitar. So that's, that's a really unique thing. And also where the arm comes across, it really doesn't cut off the circulation to the arm because it is rolled over so nicely. Um, it also has an enlarged sound hole with this really gorgeous, big abalone rosette. Um, it's got a brass br uh, bridge with bone pins, bone saddle, and bone nut. And I should mention that really the intonation that he's done on this saddle is really gorgeous. Uh, it's, it's nearly Samaji esque, but it doesn't have that super wide saddle. So you can fit standard pickups under there and Really, if you need to swap out the saddle, it doesn't have to be too severely custom made. Uh, it's also got the um, Samaji style nut, so it's got the lovely carving in between the strings. The tuners are actually uh, go to a five tens, and the tone of this thing is almost cavern like. It has a very cathedral deepness to the Brazilian that I don't always get the opportunity to hear. And some Brazilian's a little uh, denser, but this seems like it it moves a little more with the instrument. So it, it has a very, like I said, cathedral sound. And wants to go a bit aw. So if that's the vowel that you're looking for out of an instrument, this mooser is probably the route to go. If you have any more questions about this one, uh, make sure that you message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com. Thanks.